Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much guys for the growth. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. And if you are not a member of the family yet, if you're not one of our family members, please consider subscribing to this channel so that you do not miss out on any of my videos. Let's grow this channel. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers. So guys, help me reach that milestone before winter okay so thank you so much for you guys i see a lot of you are watching me from um, nigeria a lot of you are watching from the united states and i really really appreciate it so guys continue sharing this channel and today on this channel i'm here to share with you 10 plus side hustles that you can start from all my university subscribers so if you're in university if you're in college here are 10 plus side hustles that i want to share with you my name is martha the wife Preneur. if you're new on this channel we're all about entrepreneurship social media growth as well as productivity so like i mentioned earlier let's get into the video about the 10 side hustles that you can start in university so number one we are on youtube so the first thing that you can start is starting a YouTube channel. You can share with us your journey at your specific university where you are and this will help you attract more subscribers in terms of people that are at that university, people that want to come to that university in three years, in two years, in a, year in a year's time, people that may be in some parts of the countries that may want to come to that specific university, that campus life. So you can just basically share your campus life. As time goes by, your subscriber grows and eventually you get monetized here on YouTube. Number two is to start a barbershop or, you know, become a hairdresser. And this does not require a big setup. All you to start, especially with a barbershop, you basically just need a machine, the apron kind of thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's an apron your your products maybe spirit whatever you're gonna be using on people's hair and if you're a girl you can learn how to plate some already know how to plate so you just you know um start with basic prices that students other students can afford on your campus so you may start on 150 um you do people's hair you do their wigs sell um hair products you can start reselling um ordering hair cheap brazilian or cheap human hair then you start making wigs sell it. number three is being a nail technician so you can also go for a course to be a nail technician i know it might cost you a lot you might think that it's a lot of money but for example if you've already started with um with a beauty part you can go on and now invest into whatever money that you get your profits you can be keeping on your site then you go for a one week uh, nail technician training and this does not only apply to girls guys you can also do the same so our skills are basically the same right so go be a nail technician make money i mean a lot a lot a lot of money i know someone who does um Cerro Africa here on uh, in Europe, in Windhoek, Namibia. I can leave uh, the link up here, or I'll put it in the description. There's a basically um, a rough amount of money that you can make in a week, depending on the standard prices, and eventually, you know, you grow as you as you go. At number four, consider doing laundry for your peers in university. Yes, there are some kids that are lazy or can be tired or they are from well up families so they can afford to pay you to do the laundry so you can decide to say per basket um this big it's hundred dollars per basket this big is 200 so it can you can see um doing laundry is in washing and also ironing and this can not only limit you to um your peers but also your lecturers some have a busy life i know there are some professors and some lecturers that do work over the weekend and you can help them do that so you can either go wash at their places or you can walk around that at number five say you are already in your second year you have knowledge about what your first year is like and you have your books from first year so basically what you can do here you can get a printer make copies of the study materials that you use that help you start in the previous year make copies resell them to students to the first year students that cannot afford the original or the newer books so if a new if a new book costs like 
250 from a specific uh, bookshop you can make copies out of that and you sell it maybe for 150 for 200 you know it depends you can just work around your prices I'm just giving you a basic example number six while we're still on the printing services you can buy a printer and you can use that um, to start your small business on campus um, especially if you're in the hostel you people can come make copies from you um, people can come and print assignments from you at number seven sell food sell home cooked meals so you can ask your peers on campus including lecturers open a social media page um, post about your home cooked meal people can pre-order so let's say if you are making bright picks um, you do go and buy at home or whatever the case is then people buy and people book or order before that specific day you can have or you can collect people um, that want to buy throughout the week Monday to Friday you say I'm going to sell bright packs on Saturday at uh, 4 o'clock or whatever the case is and then people pay um, their deposits if they do not trust you yet but make sure that you secure a deposit so that you know that whatever plates that you're gonna make they are all going to sell out yeah so either they pay full amount or they pay deposits and then you deliver when the day comes at number seven if you're good with social media help people help other social media um, um, content creators or business owners that have their businesses on social media it could be on Facebook it could be on Instagram it could be on Twitter anywhere on YouTube help them manage their pages so some people could be too busy but if you have knowledge if you know how to you know work around get these people more um, customers or more clients to help them make more sales so try and manage their social media growth and as they grow their channel as they grow their channels their pages you can charge that and that is called freelancing at number nine consider um making affiliate be an affiliate what does the affiliate do so to be an affiliate you have uh, for example maybe you know someone um who sells certain products right so they you advertise on their behalf basically you advertise on their behalf at the commission so if i am selling um wigs and if you get that wig and you review you send more people to my business per person i can give you like 25 percent of what i'm selling that you made for so if a wig is 200 and i give you 25 percent of that because you have also worked hard to bring more clients and number 10 be a tutor and the tutor generally means you can teach people that are in grade 10 if you are in if you're already in you are a first year student go and teach students that are from grade 10 11 12 things that you still remember and that you're good at if you're good at mathematics revise 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 go and teach these kids how to do that you can teach you can charge per hour if you are that good more referral more referral more referral more clients more money okay also, for example, in if you are already in your second year, there's a module that you really enjoyed, you mastered it in your first year. Teach people about uh, that specific module. Teach, 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 teach. Also, sometimes there are people that can be slow in your class. You can look at the specific um, subject, that subject or module that others are struggling with. Say, for example, it's mathematics. We all people, we all know people struggle with mathematics. So you go ahead. Um, teach these people the topics that you have done so you could be um, ahead of the lecturer because in most cases in university you have a syllabus you have you know what you're expected you know what you're supposed to cover that year so basically you will just have to study ahead of the teacher if study ahead study ahead of your lecturer then you teach these other slow students you know so that by the time the lecturer gets to that specific topic they have a better understanding so it's better you just cruise through and this will help them you know um able to pass the exams at number 11 or 12 i'm not even sure where i am now consider selling digital products so digital products so these are basically products uh, that you can sell online 
and if you don't know anything about digital products i have a video up here i think i'll leave it up here i'll also leave it in the description or in the comment where i talk about digital products so digital products there are a lot quite different um digital products out there so you can consider choosing a specific digital product that you're good with if you love social media as your side hustle you can continue making digital products about um, social media or you can make digital products of the modules like i've mentioned earlier instead of you printing out digital um printing out copies of these books you can now revise a specific book if it's a mathematics book that you know you have better formulas or better understanding for students then you can you know actually design a book or you can come up with a book like that that you can sell electronically you know online so i guess in my next video i'm going to share with you um, more on digital products what you need to know about digital products and where you can sell your digital product for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video please consider checking out this playlist that i have here on digital products I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.